Hey friends, Ash here with Jensen's back with part two of my fragrance collection. Today, I have Chelsea behind the camera helping me, so I'm gonna hand fragrances off to her, and we're doing shelf number two. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, so this top part is mainly discontinued stuff. I mean, there's niche and indie fragrances in here too, but mainly discontinued stuff. So first off, two bottles of M7 Fresh by Yves Saint Laurent, and then a bottle of M7 this is the original formulation. It's a tester from when Tom Ford was creative director. Two House of Matriarch fragrances, Black Number no. One Devotion. Two bottles of Very Valentino. This one's a tester, this one is not. Two bottles of Comme de Garçon. We've got number two, and this one is the Silver Words edition, and then Wonderwood. And uh, I like Comme de Garçon fragrances, but I don't like these bottles because they just lay flat, kind of a pain. I've got, well, it's about empty. Pure Oud by Killian. It's a refill. And then uh, Canali. And this is the uh, original for men. Discontinued and hard to get nowadays. Midnight in Paris by Van Cleef and Arpels. That's the EDT. Kinzo Air Intense. Those are really cool uh, vetiver fragrances. Candies for men, classic Walmart fragrance. And Nikos for men, which is a uh, discontinued coffee fragrance. Got Davidoff Good Life. That one's really nice. Versace, I'm gonna call it Versus. It's V slash S, but Versus sounds better, but then they also had the Versus brand. We've got a couple from House of Matriarch. This one is Futures Past, which is part of the, um, the Twin Peaks collection that they did. Black number one. So it's a travel of uh, the one that I have a full size of. We've got two Gucci Envies for men, both 100 mils. You'll notice there's a, a slight difference in coloration between the two, uh, but they're both legit. And then we've got um, Tumult. This one is by Christian LaCroix, and these are really, really good. Love those fragrances. We've got Gucci Rush, 50 mil, and then Gucci Pour Homme, 50 mil and 100 mil. Gucci Pour Homme, one. So those are the three Gucci fragrances that are most well-known uh, that Tom Ford did that were discontinued. Rush, Envy, and Poor home. We have Drakkar Dynamic. I had to get this just because um, Drakkar Noir. <laughs> then we have Atelier Blom, Black Tulip, and William. So I bought this one when we went to Chicago. Bought it from Barney's. And um, this one I bought actually at TJ Maxx. Next up, I've got uh, two bottles of Nemo by Casherelle. And these have a cool ball bearing as the atomizer that you can roll around right there. And then Armani Attitude, which has the Zippo flip top and Attitude Extreme. Now we're gonna start into some of the Escadas. This is Escada Magnetism. Escada had really, really nice fragrances that they made for men, unfortunately discontinued all of them. And then Moon Sparkle, we've got a 100 mil and a 50 mil of that one, which I, I really like. Uh, for a long time, that was very cheap. was a great cheap fragrance. It's got like a like vodka note, actually. And then Fendi Life Essence, also discontinued. And this bottle's got a little crack in it, but it's still good. 4160 Tuesdays, Tokyo Spring Blossom. I got this one because I like Tokyo. <laughs> Escada Sunset Heat, another discontinued Escada scent for men. Really nice for summertime. We've got Avant Garde. This one was really cheap years back when I started my channel. Nowadays, uh, discontinued goes for a, a good amount more. And then Dolce & Gabbana, masculine. And that's, it's not got a ton left. Now we're gonna go through some centric molecules. We've got molecule 01. We have molecule 02. We have eccentric 02. We have eccentric 03 and eccentric 01. We have uh, Escada Pour Homme. This is a great, um, more gentlemanly, slightly more old school smelling fragrance from Escada. And then two bottles of Escada Sentiment. This one you can still find at some discounters uh, off and on. And if you do this, it says Escada Sentiment. So you can put them together and it still does the name. And nobody really cares, but you can do that. <laughs> and there's a uh, Escada Casual Friday. Bottle's a little bit beat up, but this one's one of the harder ones to find 
from the Escada line. Porio Armani City Glam. And uh, this one is discontinued, of course, like well, most of those. We've got Violet Tanagra. This one's really nice. Um, good quality fragrance from Violet. Actually, most of all the fragrances I've smelled from them have been good. And then Escada Light Silver Edition. And this is a little 40 mil. Jesus Del Pozo Quasar. I really like the look of it. It maybe almost looks like toilet bowl cleaner, but I think it's kind of cool. It's like a futuristic power cell or something. And then Quasar Adventure is this one. We have Moonshine. I bought this uh, at a store locally, but you can find it online. One thing I hate about it is uh, no atomizer. It just comes as a splash. And then two from Profuma Roma, Aqua Viva and Aqua de Sol. That completes shelf number one. Shelf number two, all niche. And there's a bunch of them on here, so I'll just start in on them. We've got a Xenia Italian Bergamot. We have Xenia Aqua de Bergamotto. We have uh, Javanese Patchouli. <laughs> I was saying it very strangely. And then Aqua de Bergamotto once more. So those are all the Xenias. We've got Hermetica Spice Air. And this one actually was gifted to me by uh, Scent Sense. So shout out. Moroccan Leather from Mimo. And Moon Fever and Winter Palace also from Mimo. Then we've also got Russian leather, Irish leather, and Italian leather. So I'm missing some of the leathers. Uh, African leather is somewhere else, but I don't own a couple of the other ones yet. We've got Maison Francis Kirk John, Baccarat Rouge 540, Aqua Universalis, Aqua Vitae, and Aqua Celestia. I was trying to find the front to show it to you. <laughs> now we've got Aqua Vitae Forte, Oud Velvet Mood, and then another bottle of Aqua Vitae and Lumiere Noir. Poor Ohm. So now we'll do these imaginary authors. This one I have lumped in with imaginary authors, but it's, um, it is not, I believe it's anthropology, but it was done by Josh Meyer, perfumer that did imaginary authors. So uh, it's called, she called, but he was unreachable. They have two bottles of Cape Heartache, bottle of St. Julep, bottle of Sundrunk, and bottle of Telegrama, which is the newest one that I bought. Every Storm a Serenade, Violet Disguise, Bull's Blood, L'Orchidie Terrible. I, I, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Uh, I never have been able to, it's just a, it's a nightmare. And honestly, that fragrance isn't any good. Yesterday Haze, Memoirs of a Trespasser, Falling into the Sea, A City on Fire, Mosaic, and Whispered Myths. Some really good ones in that bunch. This is a very sad a little travel atomizer of O Unknown. I need the full size of that. The Soft Lawn, the Cobra and the Canary. This one is called Leather Contraband and actually it was sent to me by Josh Meyer way back in the day because I had posted a picture on Instagram. And at the time I posted the picture, I had every fragrance that he had done in the Imaginary Authors line and he sent me this. So that's really cool. Slow Explosions and then an air of despair. Now we've got some eight and bobs. Egypt, which is really nice. The original eight and bob, almost empty. Nuit de Megev and Champs de Provence. So those are the four eight and bobs that I own. And then a little more Josh Meyer Love, Winter Nights and Winter Green. Those are both very nice. Winter Nights between the two is the one I like the most. We have Suspiro Herba Pura. And now let's jump into some Cosmoratis. We have Riggio, Fiero, Mephisto, also known as Zerzhov Silver Mountain Water, and 1888. Last but not least, Dolce Amalfi and Lyra. And I also have a couple Zerzhovs in other places that we'll get to as we work through these. We have Naxos and then Renaissance right here, along with Zephyro. And then Neo and Udin, so both very solid. And that is shelf two. Shelf three, also niche fragrances, also a whole bunch of stuff down here that you, you can't really see, but I'll bring it up to you. We have Royal Vintage by M. Mikulov. That one's got a similarity to one Creed Ventus. Secretions Magnifique, Chelsea's favorite fragrance of all time. Monsiage Aviation Club, that one I, I really like a lot. We have Oud Bouquet by Lancome. Thomas Cosmala, number eight, Tonic Vert, and Blue Bijou, which is a Fragrance I have reviewed in the past. Ordo Parisi Tironi, a little bottle, little baby bottle of Fume by Hindley Perfumes, which I love but never use because I don't want to use it up. 
It's very sad. Uh, Whispers in the Library by Replica and By the Fireplace also, same house. Vaporo Syndro by January Scent Project. Bravuvu, same house. Smolder Rose, same house. We've got Serge Luton, Cannibal, Zero Boem Original, Frank Los Angeles number three, and Energizer from Boudica the Victorious. Serge Luton, Lane de Verre. And then we have Ode in New York number 11 and 02. So those are the only two Odins I own. I'd like to get more at some point. I have some Carner Barcelonas, Megalium, Bodafumuro, and D600. And now it's Mancera time. I've got a, a good amount of Manceras. Aoud Lemon Mint, Aoud Line, starting us off. So Blue, Black to Black, and Cedrat Boise. Mancera Wild Rose Aoud, Wild Cherry, and Wild Leather, lots of wildness. Aoud Cafe, Sicily, and Lemon Line. Then we've got Sand Aoud, Red Tobacco, Black Vanilla, Black Gold, and Instant Crush. We've got another bottle of Cedrat, Black Line, Hindu Kush, and then Gold Intensitive Oud. That's a lot of man. That's a lot of Sarah. Now we've got a few Byredos, Super Cedar, Gypsy Water, and Accord Oud along with a bottle of Bergamot 22. We're about to jump into the Montals, which is the last thing on the shelf. Uh, but before that, Blood Oranges and Sicilian Limes from Shea and Blue. Okay, Montal, Aoud Lagoon starts it off. Intense Cafe, Aoud Legend, Ristretto Intense Cafe, and Aoud Queer Darabi. One of my personal favorites, Honey Aoud. Orange Aoud, Chocolate Greedy, Patchouli Leaves, and Aromatic Lime. We've got a little bottle of Red Aoud, but this is this is 50 mils. Doesn't really look like it, but it is. Oud Mazing, Aoud Leather, Original Aouds, and Starry Nights. And then the last of the Montals on this shelf, Tropical Wood, Moon Aoud, We'll call it, and Nepal Oud. Three shelves down, two to go, and uh, we'll start with these. I believe the way to pronounce this house is Burdui, but I could be wrong. Rascaya Cosa, that's a nice leather fragrance. Selva do Brazil, and Scorza de Sicilia. Two fragrances from the House of Vitro, Marcutri, and Manrose, and uh, actually Vetiver. <laughs> Manrose is somewhere else. I thought this was Manrose. Turns out it's Vetiver. Then we have La Fin du Monde, The End of the World, Gearness, who I met in Disney World, <laughs> in Epcot rather, and then uh, Sleeping with Ghosts from the Mark Buxton collection. A couple of fragrance from Parfums de Nicolai. We have Patchouli Intense and then Queer Cuba Intense. And then four fragrances here from Diptyque, Philosikos, Volutes, Tandao, and Oduel. Those are all really, really good. Four fragrances from Histoire de Parfum. We have 1740, Ombre 114, 1899, and then 1725. Two fragrances from Fort and Manly, Amber Absolutely, and Suleiman Le Magnifique. We also have Classic Patchouli from Von Usersdorf, and this is not a blue bottle from Histoire de Parfum. And that's the original, this is not a blue bottle, not the many flankers that have come afterward. Four fragrances from Tiziana Terenzi, 19th March, White Fire, Orion, and Ursa. Serge Luton, Ombre Sultan, and then Shergi, those are both great. The House of Oud, Almond Harmony, very interesting bottle design on those, and then the Merchant of Venice, Arabesque, and that one has a great bottle as well. A little more from Merchant of Venice, Asian Inspirations, Byzantium Saffron, and then Venetian Blue. From Comptor Sud Pacifique, <laughs> Eau de Lagon. And totally nailed it, probably not. The Essendurga Cowboy Grass, Raja Parfum's Fetish, and then Scandal. Cardinal from Healy, which is a great incense fragrance. Note de Yuzu, a great Yuzu fragrance. Mint Fresh, which is a 
mint fragrance and Cell Marin, which is an aquatic fragrance. Such knowledge. People learned so much just now. That was sarcasm. Some Old Factor Studios for you. Ombre Indigo. Woody Mood, which I really like. Close Up, which has changed colors. This used to be purple. It is no longer purple. It smells the same though. Still Life, and then Still Life in Rio. And these are the last fragrances on this shelf. Then we'll just have the bottom shelf and we'll be done with part two. We have Chambre Noir, very nice. Lumiere Blanche and Panorama. Let's get some Lardazan Parfumé in our lives with Zing, Patchouli Patch, Timbuktu, and a second helping of Timbuktu. <laughs> Let's start doing like a game show host. All right, who's got some fragrances for me? For you. Premier Figuier Extreme. Mekan Lu, which is um, the big bad wolf. Zonga. And T42. Many people love T42. I actually don't. We've got a fragrance from Gallagher Fragrances Carpe Cafe. That's an old school bottle right there. On de Sensuel, I Lord of Song. Mandarin. And then Manhattan Leather from The Gate. Another one from The Gate, Duet. And then we have Niche 01 and Niche 02. These are clones, Aventus, Silver Mountain Water, from the brand Zodiac, uh, which I believe is not, in fact, owned by the Zodiac Killer. We've got some homage for you, Memoir Man. We have a sad bottle of Jubilation, which is uh, very near empty. Interlude, the Blue Beast, and Fate Man, with the cool kind of uh, rainbow effect. We've got two bottles of Lyric Man here. One of them is a tester, which is why it's got the funny looking cap on it. Journey Man, which I do quite like. And then Beloved Man. Imitation Man, one of the newer ones. Beach Hut, Honor. Another bottle of Jubilation, but this one with a magnetic cap. And then Seal Man, not to be confused with uh, the singer of Kiss from a Rose, Seal. Epic Man and I do not have a cap for that one. Portrayal Man, Thea Man, and Gold, which is strong. That's a, that's a powerful one. And that one I believe is no magnetic cap. We have Silver Man, uh, no magnetic cap there either. Myths, Reflection Man, Sunshine, and Bracken. And that is gonna wrap up the Amouage from the main men's line. I do have a couple of Opus bottles though. So this one is Opus 6, as you can see there, and Opus 1. So also have those. We are on to the last house in this shelf, and it's for Palm. There's Passion Boise, If by RK, which is my newest, The Orchid Man, and 1270, Terre de Sarment, Humaniste, Paradis Perdue, and then Last but not least, 1697. Now, you probably also can see up here some fragrances. Uh, these are the fake creeds that I got from, I think it was Wish that I got those from. And so I just kept them because they look kind of cool, but these are 100% fake. Then there's this Everyman Jack that I got from like Target, I think, like a little pack in Target. And this one is Cedarwood, I believe. It doesn't actually say, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And then the Crimos. I've got Spice and Black Vanilla, Blue Cedar and Cypress, Leather and Oud, Bourbon Vanilla, Bourbon and Oak, Iced Citron and Driftwood, Reserve Blend, Silver Water and Birch, and Bergamot and Musk. So all the Crimos right there for you. And uh, with that, I think that's gonna wrap up part two. And that was just the second, the second shelf. So there's another shelf right here. There's a big one right there. There's some more <laughs> over here. There's a smaller shelf over there. And then I think there are four in here. So we'll get through this. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for all your support. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys.